this is Victor and I'm here with the second part of the painting tutorial of uh, the Lord Master, the Elf. Uh, this was coming in the, uh, the Fall of Hammer Hall uh, and now yeah, it's part of the also Age of Sigmar characters. So uh, in the first part I painted the mirror to this stage and now in the second part I'm going to finalize the paint job. Okay, so we are going to apply now the last base color we need to apply here and I'm going to do the handle of the sword and some um, other ornaments with Gothor Brown. So I don't want to use red at the end, I decided I will try to avoid to use red and we are only going to use only pink on the hair. Okay, so I'm going to apply this here. Okay, and now I realize this is the stage where we are going to start going zone by zone, cleaning up and just finalizing the miniature. So you will see that sometimes when you do it in that step you will find some parts that you have missed in the previous layer. So this is the moment to do all these corrections. I'm going to do also these things here, this belt, or this, I don't really, and we are going to do as well some pockets and other bags he's wearing. Okay, for example, this thing here. Okay, so we are going to apply this here. Good. No. We are going to do this. Okay. And this is quite a complicated. This part here is a little bit. So I'm going to do this thing looks like a pocket. Now I'm trying to find the belt. Okay, I'm going to do it like that. So come up here. And here we have a bag as well. This is a bag, this is not part of the... This is the moment where you will find details that you maybe have missed in the previous parts. Here we have a small bag, just we're going to paint it like that. I'm going to apply as well here on the hole. We don't have any belt here, we only have this pocket. Now we are going to side of the bell. And now I'm going to do the fire because I want to see how the fire looks like. So to do the base color of the fires I will use Baharo Blue as well. For so the fire I mean the magic bow that he's casting or this projectile. Okay, we are going to apply this, we are going to paint this with Baharo Blue. And here is where we need to find the but you need to be careful and really paint the flames and distinguish this from the fingers. Okay, I do that and I'm back once this is done. So now the projectile is painted, so I'm going to paint all the gems as well with Bahar Blue. Okay, there is quite a big number of gems, gems sorry.
So I'm going to do them all. So I do all the gems and I'm back. Okay, I have done now the base color on the gems and now I'm going to do a couple of um, washes. So first with Agax Air Shade, I will apply this on the parts with paint brown before and as well on this thing we have paint before here. Okay. To play here, for example, here as well on the back. I've been before. I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to apply it here, and then I'm going to do it with this thing. Then we are going to do it on the handle of the sword. So this is what I wanted to do with the Aglet Air Shade and now I'm going to take again purple wash. I'm going to apply this on the blade. Something like that. We try to and not put too much. We can let it accumulate a little bit here on the recesses. And when we go to the blade, I try to remove the excess. Okay, something like that. Let's see when we go from one side. Okay. We are going to clean up anyway with silver later on. And now I'm going to take Coelia Green Shade. Okay, this one. And I'm going to apply this on the helmet ornament. In this part here. This will give this aquamarine look like to this thing. So it's a way you can play with greens and purples to give a different shading to the same blue. Okay, you can see now it's looking more greenish. It was intentional, but will be different than the fire now. Well, and also than the gems. Now I will wait that all these washes dry and I will be back. Okay, next I'm going to start doing the highlights on the cloak. So I just did some before and I will keep pushing the highlights. So I will use now uh, Ariman Blue to do a second layer of highlight. So what we want to give is this, we want to leave the purple on the deep parts and not push this turquoise on the most exposed parts of the cloak, okay? You can see.
intention is to give this color between purple, blue and turquoise playing with the different kind of lines. If happens that you go into the recess there, I will use a little bit of Nagar Knight. Okay, I take a little bit of Nagar Knight and I put it there in this recess if you do a small mistake like this one. Okay, I will have next to me as well I'm um, sorry, Thousand Suns Blue, so I can play with the transitions. So, for example, here I'm going to take Animan Blue now, and I go, I will go next to it, next to the highlight, and I will help to smooth the transition. Okay, here we want to give. We want to bring to life the cloak. Okay. So I'm playing with no, it's animal blue. Animal blue is a little bit more similar. You can use also Sotek blue if you have this one. Also Sotek green is called. It's called Sotek green. Sorry. So the green and arim and blue are very similar colors. Okay. So I do this. And we are going to play as well this on these things. Okay, just to make this more interesting and break a little bit the uniformity of the color. Okay. So you can see now it's looking more interesting the cloak. Remember that my, normally my objective when painting this metal is to have, uh, I'm not painting for contest, I'm painting to have a nice tabletop standard. Okay, well, good tabletop. A, although I have my metals in display at home and sometimes I put them on display at the shop, my objective and my always in mind is to have cool miniatures painted uh, for gaming. Okay, and this miniature is being painted because uh, to be able to use them to use it in mainly in silver tower. I'm not planning to use it in Edge of Sigma at this moment. But I'm enjoying Silver Tower and most likely I will try to use him as well in Silver Tower or planning also to use the Hammer Hole. You can see now I'm working with Thousand Suns Blue to smooth on the transition. I will keep the bottom very dark. Okay, and then I will do as well the highlights on the 
this clock. Okay. This is how the clock looks like. And I was thinking if I do even a higher highlight, but the Bahar blue is. We can use now a little bit of Temple Guard blue, it is a little bit lighter. Okay. And we can put this on the most Something like that. Well, this is a way to give an extra accent. To really show off. I think this is the best part of the meter, how the clock, the cloak is a scope. And I thought the original model was... Though the original model was with two colors, I think I like it more. Yes. One dark color. So this color looks like at the back. And now I'm going to do the same at the front. So apply temple and look here for example. Now I go with animal blue and I soften. the same in this one here. Accents on this part. Perfect. We can use no just so take to add a little bit here. And now that we have so take open, I'm going to play this at the tail. Of this, so we are going to do the the bolt. Know that we already have so take blue here. I think I will apply a little bit like that, just to show that there is fire on top of this finger. Okay, now it's more sense for me. I'm going to apply. So take green, sorry, temple got blue, also take 
temper and blue at the end of the fire. I want to keep and then the color quite bright. Now within the fingers, instead of shading, I prefer to put the blue of the fire. Because we want to make this as a always have so what you want to do now is I take darker blue and I go at the tail of these flames so this Arimon blue what I'm using now, I'm going to go at the tail of the flames. Now I'm going to use white mix. No, I'm going to use yes, white mixed with Bahar blue. So first I'm going to use white. to insist with the white in the middle to make the middle white bright and now I'm going to mix it with Bajaro Blue so the Bajaro Blue I mix it with some white and I will go around What I'm going to do is I'm going to do like lines, something like that. Now I will use temperature blue to smooth this, or even Bajar blue. Okay. I will put a little bit more of white in the middle. This is very thin. I will mix it with a little bit of the heart of blue. Okay. Now we need this Bahar of blue to go a little bit to the back.
that. Okay, and here we have the vault of energy. Okay, now we are now that we have already the blue open. Uh, I'm going to do the gem, so I'm going to do one gem here on camera and the rest are going to be done off camera. So we take this one here and I'm going to apply first um, it's the darker color is thousand suns blue okay we're going to apply thousand suns blue very little at the top of the gem now we go with white we do a dot if the dot is too big we go back with back with thousands of blue and we make it smaller and then to smooth the transition here I take temple gar blue and I put it here below okay so let's do another one let's do this one here for example we use a thousand suns blue okay white and then a little bit of temple of blue in the middle for the ones that are very small this is going to be a little bit more tricky so we just go with thousand suns blue We apply a very small touch so like that. Like that. Okay, so I do all the gems, all the rest of the gems, and I'm back once this is done. Okay, next I'm going to add some highlights on the gold. Uh, I'm going to use Auric Armor Gold for this purpose. Okay, and we are going to add some, especially here on, on this moon shaped things we are going to add extremes okay we are going to add this Example here. Okay. Here. Part here. Well, on this.
might do also. Apply on the room on the sod. So the intention is to make here what you want to do is to make the gold brighter and show all the different gold ornaments he's wearing. Nice, so now it's looking good. I don't have to forget here. <coughs> okay. Next, we're going to do a very soft dry brush on the on this thing here okay so we are going to use I'm looking for a bright that is quite soft so very carefully we are going to dry brush the helmet ornament okay with Baharo blue it was the same basic color You want to be very soft. It's better to go with slowly with small progress than okay. and no. this. I'm going to take a little bit of white. Okay. The one you want to brush it very well. And we are going to go very soft just on this part. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. So we are quite close to finish this miniature now. And now I'm going to apply a little bit of uh, 
I realized, for example, here I miss the bell, so I go back with Gother Brown. I will do here the bell that I missed before. I also miss it here. Okay, and I will highlight a little bit these bags. They will use as well for the highlight a little bit of main blade brown. Okay. And we are going to apply this. at the edge okay I'm going to do the same on the bell One mistake, I'm going to correct it immediately. I'm going to use a little bit of Thousand Suns Blue. to do a very gentle dry brush here at the saw to give a little bit of texture to this to the sod handle okay And I'm going to wash it again. So this is sometimes something that you have to do if you see uh, that the texture or the, the detail is not that visible. It's better to go back and forth with the techniques until you are happy with the final result. Okay, but now I think it's going to look better. Okay, well, let's go and do the hair that I was almost forgetting. So I'm going to use an screamer pink, a pink, a screamer, sorry, a screamer pink. Okay, I just have to check if this, this is the one that is not good. Okay, we are going to use a screamer pink for the head. Okay, and now I'm going to use uh, Emperor's Children pink. to add a little bit more on one side to give 
this additional right like that now we can work on the purple so the purple I will do some edge highlighting I will use no shadows purple and I will go to the edge of this purple following the gold you see that this is not very contrasting I know this is not a problem we are going to do here and we are going to do a little bit as well here on the inside okay it's more important to work the back okay so once we have done that I'm going to check the, uh, take and uh, take gel stealer purple, and we are going to do an, again an edge highlighting, but this time we want to be thinner. We are going to go something like that. I, I keep shadows purple just in case I need some support. Intention is this time is to show. Okay, to be here. Now I can use Shiro's purple just next to it. Okay. This will be enough. I'm going to take now the color lilac. Something like that. Something like that. We can do here just like that and like that. This should be enough. Now we go back with gem stealer purple. Something like that will be more than enough. And in this part here, in the inside, I will just go with Jenna Stillot Purple and do something like that. Very little you need there. 
it's a very hidden part. So almost the only thing now we are missing is the blade. So on the blade we are going to do the same we did before on the armor. I'm going to take a sp a speed metal and we are going to reduce the purple on the blade. We take a speed metal from a scale 75. We just do it like that. And here is a choice of everyone. So we can do, for example, half blade with this. And then only on the other side, only do the edge. And that way. I think that looks more interesting. Now I do here this, and on the other side we do the same. So I do just one side of the blade. leaving the other side with the darker color. We can do it just on the darker side. I'm going to add a little bit here. And now I'm going to clean up a little bit that the, this. So I want to show that the blade is like that. Now, and you can see that the scale 75 is quite a transparent color, so it's leaving the purple to show through that is nice okay so and that's all I think here I will finalize the tutorial on the lore master I hope you have liked this tutorial so this is the second part and final part on the lore master painting tutorial so please give a like if you have liked this tutorial so let me know what do you think and keep tuned if you want to see the final result on pictures so I'm going to make a small showcase to show you how this looks like. So that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!